Yo guys, what up? This is Nico here, and welcome to my new tutorial, which this time is on the homemade glitchy damage. Um, this is a pretty sick effect um, that I made on my last edit, Delusion. So it's pretty much these little glitchy bars. Um, mostly it fits glitchy edits, so. I'd recommend using them in um, in your glitch edits. Um, so yeah. So first things first, you're gonna download the preset file. Then again, it's a it's a preset. Um, after you did that, you're gonna add to your computer your C driver, program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS6, support files, and presets. Then you're gonna add a new folder and you're gonna call it home damage. Right, you're gonna enter it. Um, and you're gonna drag in your preset file. And you're gonna exit. Then you're gonna enter your After Effects. So let's wait up. Alright. Then you're gonna pick up the clip in which you want the effect to happen. Alright. So, um, this is a bit long. So I'll just cut it. Randomly. Alright. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna add a new solid layer. And you're gonna call it damage. Alright, then you're gonna type in your search box homemade. Alright, um, then this will pop up. So you'll drag it on your um, solid layer. Alright, um, then you'll see these little bars. Um, then you're gonna make a new adjustment layer. And you're gonna put it just under the solid layer. Then you're gonna switch the mode. And right here, you're gonna make it Lumamat damage. So this will disappear. Next, um, you're gonna type in offset. And you're gonna add it into your adjustment layer. Then, um, where you can see the um, shift center 2, you're gonna change the left one to just a little bit, so it'll look glitchy. Alright. Um, so it's not so visible, then you're gonna add your um, curves. into the adjustment layer and you're gonna play a little bit with the colors like depends on what you want it to look like uh, if it's brighter or um, or darker so um, I like it a little bit brighter alright then you're gonna add on to your adjustment layer the twitch effect I'll add the download link to the twitch effect in the description it's it's pretty easy to 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 download so so you'll do that um, then you're gonna enable um, blur and scale close it then you're gonna go to operator controls to scale and um hold on let's see where it plays oh so right about here um so and you're gonna play with the amount if you don't like it oh hold on scale and I forgot to, ena to enable the slide as well 
So you're gonna go into your slide, and if you want it glitchier, then you're gonna add the slide RGB split. So say, but the amounts a bit down because we don't want it uh, too high. Uh, then the blur, we shall make it something like that. And if you want to make it faster, you can change the speed to 9. That's the way I like it personally. Um, and this is pretty much it. But you can also go to your solid layer and you can play with the amount of the glitches, uh, the bars. So, but, but I like it on. 25 it's pretty decent um, then you can also change um, the largeness of the blocks so you can make a lot of little uh, bars or you can make let's say just just a couple and th they'll be bigger so if you like it that way you can make it bigger so it'll look like this and um, a glitchy pretty nice I like it so uh, yeah so this is pretty much it I hope you enjoyed and if you did rate the video I'd really appreciate it so stay tuned for more edits and more tutorials see you guys next time bye